Now with the Travel 1003 from Torquedo, one of the issues on a boat like this, and this is a uh, Freedom Electric Marine, Marine Twin Troller X10. Now, it's a nice compact small waters boat, uh, ideal for, uh, for small lakes and ponds. Uh, and it's operated by, a, uh, by two foot controlled electric motors that are recessed into the hull, center placed in the hull. And, uh, and there's two pedals there. This makes it fine for operation on the water. It's highly maneuverable. You can ease in, uh, ease into shallow areas. However, because it is, it, it does operate off of off of a, a, a lead battery. Both motors operate off of that. You don't get a lot of speed uh, uh, out of that. And if you put it on a larger body of water, and today I think we're going to be on a lake that's uh, probably about, I think it's about 380 acres. I thought it would be best to have a primary propulsion unit other than those recessed motors. The Torquedo Travel 1003 is ideal for this. However, when we mounted it on here, the head, which is the lithium battery on, uh, on the 1003, was not uh, uh, was hanging low. Had was not able to tilt the motor, and uh, what we did, we had to, had this uh, had this made uh, tailored to this craft. They had to elevate this part before the 1003's uh, shaft was uh, in, uh, was was too long. So I wanted to elevate this to get it to a to the ideal. Uh, ideal position in the water column for that propeller to propel this craft adequately. Now let, let me show you a little bit what we had to do with the mount here. Because of the uh, uh, of the way the the 1003 uh, is positioned, that shaft it actually would angled back. So what we had to do in order to get this mounted, come on in a little bit closer. We actually had to had to bevel this a little bit because of the taper of the inside of the uh, of the transom here. We actually had to bevel this and flatten that out. And you can see, uh, and, th and this is the uh, the mount that we created for the uh, uh, for the Travel 1003. The tiller control goes next. The sequence is pretty important on this, so uh, uh, this just slides right in. Okay. Now the connection. It, it, there's a little warning here, and it's it absolutely it is essential. It says motor cable connect first, and you disconnect it last. And that sequence is very important if you want this thing to operate. So we're going to connect this here. Then we connect it to the tiller control. We're going to secure the secure the battery to the motor with this pin. And last uh, but not least is uh, the magnetic key, essential to the operation. Start the motor. And we get a com we get a readout here. This is a digital readout. Uh, we charge the battery beforehand. It's at 100 percent. So uh, we're, we're in business here. We're going to get some valuable uh, uh, readout during the day. It's going to tell me how much uh, motor I have left. So that's a little introduction to the Torquedo Travel 1003, uh, three horsepower. It's effectively an outboard. This is a primary propulsion unit. It's an electric motor, but again, it is not designed as a as your typical fishing trolling motor, but uh, rather is a very efficient, uh, but electrically powered outboard. And uh, with these the little tips that I provided, you could mount it on a boat like a uh, uh, like a twin troller 10 uh, X10 and uh, you know make it into a more efficient uh, longer range craft uh, for your fishing uh, turn that little pond boat into a uh, uh, small lake and even uh, you know extend its range quite a bit